Ahmed from DMX Crew, and this is my studio. This is a Ranger FX Echo Pedal, which is a cool little digital delay with a very uh, lo-fi sound, and you can control the echoes with a CV input. So it's hooked up to the modular at the moment. is mostly analog systems from Cornwall. Pretty basic, simple modules, not all the kind of crazy stuff people make now. I haven't really got too hooked into um, modular synth addiction. I just like a simple synth. This is the Sequential Pro one, which is a... Very dirty pots. It's a two oscillator American synth. It's probably the only synth I've got that's what you might call fat sounding. There's a lot of Roland gear in here, which is all quite polite. I mean, Roland were really good at sort of giving you a synth with a that's all sweet spot. Like you can't go to extreme, whereas this you can go extreme and make it sound ugly. MS10 from Korg. I'm playing them from down here because they're all CV and gated up. But Again, a really aggressive filter, but a very, very simple design. That one's been flooded. That's been in a flood and been filled with water and it still works. So that's how good things were made in the 70s. Next one is the SH09 from Roland. This one here. SH101 is almost the same thing, but it's got a really cool little sequencer in it, which we can have a play on it later on. Down at the bottom, on the floor, there's a 606, 303. I don't think they need much introduction. The acid machine, here's the 808. I did have a 909, but I sold it, which might sound a bit foolish. As I was saying to you before, like all of these things, you can buy them like that if you if you want to spend the money. You know, this was my first analog synth, and it was 75 quid. I went around to buy it off an old lady and an old boy, and it's sitting on top of the organ in their living room. You know, all of my gear was cheap. I'm not someone who paid through the nose for whatever was trendy or collectible. 